stop to think about how you suddenly got to where you are and look at me not so long ago I used to eat mushed up banana and now I'm an independent mature woman with a whole mature life to look forward to you have to feel proud when you've had your first major relationship breakup and it was clean painless and quick and I'm totally mature and over it you know and um, one it doesn't hurt. I haven't felt sluggish or sick and I haven't had to comfy. Two, I don't feel like I have to talk it through or moan. I have no outstanding issues. And three, I just know we can be friends. I mean, Dan is probably in a lot of pain about the breakup. Feeling rejection, anger and loneliness. But I can support him through it. There's someone out there for him somewhere and I can help him come to terms with that too. Hey Dan. Uh, what are you up to? Look, Dan, I know it's hard. But well let's be a adult. Adult? Yeah. Okay. I was going to tell you, Ellie, meet Zoe. She's a plumber. She's a daughter to a brush sales person. She's a trendy Jehovah's Witness. She's a cousin. She's an overly friendly cousin. Dan's got a new girlfriend and she's practically a supermodel. I dumped Dan. I was the one who didn't want to go out with him first. I should be the one to find someone else first. That's the law. And, and if not, why not? Ellie Belly! Lunch is nearly ready. Yeah, like I feel like eating after what I've been through. Bacon sarnies! Snack of the gods! Look at you. That's why you're still single. A big, fat dragon. So he is a tiny forest fairy compared to you. Done, God, over you. Uh, quicker than a bullet touch because of me. Oh. And you are? The named puppy fat. What you can call as fat. I don't need any exercise. <laughs> Your favourite. I made it special for my cuddly girl. I'm not cuddly. I'm not hungry. Come on, belly belly. Stop saying belly! Why'd you call me that? Belly, belly, belly. What are you saying? Elle, it's just a nickname. Oh, I don't want a nickname with belly in it, okay? My legs look like stunted turkey drumsticks. Even my wrists are obese. My whole face looks like it has a dinner plate shoved in it sideways. <laughs> Couldn't agree more, Pet. You know, Davin, he's going out with someone called Zoe. She's really, really thin. No. And I know why. It's because I'm fat. Zoe is like a stick. Thin girls get boyfriends. I'm just fat. Stop that now. So Dan's beaten you to a new person. That's no reason to start with this self-hatred. I hate myself for saying it, Elle. She's right. Self-hatred is not the solution. It's for indie pop bands and celebrities. At a time like this, I want you to think positively. You are not fat. 
you're you. And this is the first day of the rest of your life. Is it possible that one day you won't sound like a greeting card? Anything's possible. Like you getting a sense of humour. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be alone now. Not so fast. I have a bouncing back plan to tell you. The answer is to be occupied. And I suggest swimming. How is getting wet going to help me? Oh, well, it's the way to be toned all over. I haven't swum since I was in my mum's tummy. I can't swim length. Oh, length is length. Have you ever seen a fat shark? <laughs> I should be surprised, but I'm not. Most activities in life are an excuse for Magda to meet boys. Okay, act natural. Act like we're actually talking about swimming. You see that boy over there? No, don't look over. That's Mick. Mag, I thought we were here to get healthy. And may I remind you that you've got a boyfriend? This is sport. He is very poster boy. There, you're feeling healthy already. So, why don't you come and shake it over here until there's more better simulation? Can my friend Deli come? Bring the friend. No, I'm here to swim. And although Mag was using this as an excuse to flirt for Britain, the swimming actually did make me feel better. <laughs> Only started to feel worse again when... Then for you, Al? I'll have a glass of water with a slice of lemon. Right, babes, be cool, be very cool. We're going to sit over there so that Mick can see us. Don't look over. <laughs> What's Greg going to say about all this? Well, all I'm trying is a date with Mick. And if it works out, then I'll dump Greg gently. No, there is no gently. <laughs> Mag, what about the chocks? What? The cake. You know, Friday's coming, and a uh, boy like me can't be alone on a Friday, so... Uh, how about me and you get to know Thomas just a bit better? Fine by me. Shopping centre at eight? Yeah, done deal. Later. Guess who's just been chosen to go through to the Vienna Art House video competition? Great. Magda's a boy magnet, Dean's a pop star, and I'm hallucinating a giant puppy made of my own fat. Mad, I forged your mum's signature. You lied about your age. Well, I've been thinking. I can hear the cogs turning. I either lose and don't get through, in which case it won't be a problem, or I win their heats and then I tell them my true age. By then they won't be able to turn me away. Simple. <laughs> Plus, I look 16, right? She looks 16, and she looks perfect video material. The only video I get asked to be in would be a documentary about life as a fat and frumpy single. <sighs> Elle, you are not fat! Don't forget, girls, I need you there for support. OK, I'm going to have to dance on stage, and I'll... I feel sick. I'm going home. Dilemma. If I go with Nadine, I'll feel like a fat rat bag. If I don't go, I'll feel like a bad friend and a fat rat bag. How can feeling so large make you feel so small? Hey, that's a nice necklace. My sister's got one like.
Okay. Okay. What was that your head? So, Greg, am I as attractive as those girls or more? Second one. Which one? About tonight. Brain check. Daddy night out with Ellie and Dick. Hi, guys. Cool. That way for contestants. Supporters can wait over there. You all to come up on stage according to your number. Say hello to the guys, then dance your socks off. And hey, whatever happens, you are all gorgeous. Everyone except me. Look yourself. Why do you want to be in our video? I like your style. What's your favourite track? Sexy Lonely Girl. It's a story of my life. Okay then. Go for it. I went running too, but only to get that fat puppy out of my life. Where have you been? I know, jogging. Isn't that healthy? Elle. You're okay, aren't you? I'm just out of breath. No, I don't mean the running. I mean, you know, in a general sort of way. Yeah. Lying. I'm not. Oh, I know. I don't know. I do know too. Don't. Do. Don't. Do. Don't. Do. Don't. Do. Don't. Do. Don't. Do. Stop now. I mean, I think you're having a problem with the way you look. You know, your shape. Shape? Oh, what shape? My big fat circle shape? Is that what you mean? You can talk. Your love handles have got handles. What? Ooh, what's that? Oh, don't get aggressive, pet. Fat people need all the friends they can get. Go away. <laughs> go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Like that. Hello. Something like that. Whichever you're 16 years old, you're 
Why can't you behave more like your sister? You've disappointed us. Come down you, now. You've lost that My trust. life is Again. over. I'm going to count. I'll give you Just standing at the Bob bottom of the stairs. Right, get down the stairs, Nadine. Fancy a burger? Now. <laughs> Sometimes words aren't necessary between friends. That's mm -hmm. good. Mmm. So what? Hello? You had this date with Mrs. last night, remember? Right after your... Disaster. Whatever. She was with us, okay? Uh, all right. Amanda's not here. What do I care? I know she's been too tired lately. I've dumped her. Me and Magda are over. Don't tell my family. Meg, you're worrying me. Did Meg do something bad? <laughs> it was horrible. I met Mick. You right. You look nice. And he told me he could get me into this pub in you. But all these mates there and I thought we were going to be alone. But it was fun. And Nick paid for everything. I wasn't really sure what was going on. I wanted to go home. But then it got to closing time and we were all about to be chucked out. And then we were all alone. I thought he was going to walk me home or something. I just want to go. I told him he was out of order, but he wouldn't listen. He told me to stop being so prissy. Sort of pushed him and ran off. He said, why was I there with him if I wasn't interested? I was all alone and he looked really angry. I really thought he was going to hurt me. We should call the police. No. I just want to forget it. Horrible. You should be locked up. No, it's my fault. I was flirting with him, and I suppose... There's no suppose about it. You didn't want that to happen. No way. You said no, and that's it. And how dare Greg dump you? Mick's the one to blame. No, it's me. I two-timed Greg, and I'm too forward and too friendly. That is a bad thought. Did you tell me about visualising? Imagine Mick in loads of pain. It'll make you feel loads better. Okay. <laughs> 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 it's working for me <laughs> and me. <laughs> Three friends, all doing a pretty bad job of growing up. Nadine thought she was more independent than she was. Magda thought she was indestructible. And me, what exactly was I doing? See, the thing is, Tuts, I don't know why you're being so unfriendly. I mean, I'm the only thing you're going to get to hug for a long time. I'm a cat Can you mate. shut your fat puppy mouth? You're the one who's got trouble keeping her mouth shut. You keep opening and stuffing cakes in. <laughs> you know what? I think you're a figment of my troubled imagination and you should go now. Well, I've got nowhere to go. I think I made you up. 
I think you don't exist. Why make up a fat puppy, Flower? Because... Because I wanted to believe that I was single because I was fat. Instead of what? Um. Come on, we're going out. Dad, I'm tired. Come on, it's a surprise. Funny, isn't it? Beauty's definitely in the eye of the beholder. I mean, look at this lot. All sorts of shapes and sizes. They're great. But I know this is just a ploy to make me feel okay about myself. Do you know what, Al? You should feel okay about yourself, cos... you're okay. Yeah, like the opinion of a dad counts. Oh, I mean it. All right, you're not a model, but... There's something about you, Al. You've got charisma. Mum had it, and you've got it too. I'm the one who has to work at it. You've got cheekbones that show. Mmm, all that chiselled. Are you and Dan sort of over? Mm, never really started. And all the other boys, Ellie without the belly. And you've got me. You're not a boy. You're an old man. True. But I'm still a work of art. And so are you. I'd wanted to believe that Dan got over me so quickly because I was fat. If I didn't, I might have to work out why it really happened. But whatever it was, it wasn't because of how I looked. I look fine. I'm Ellie Allard, and I look fine. Everybody go. Ooh, ooh.